All right, today's gonna be a, a slightly different video. Um, I've taken a couple days off because I got some visitors. Hi! You meet them in a second, but also because it's been snowing here. So, without further ado, let's get into the interview. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Everybody, Reed is back. I'm just watching. <laughs> All right, meet, got, love, McKenna, Kyle. Kyle just got out of the uh, Air, Force. Air Force and they're on a road trip, a six-month road trip um, in, life. <laughs> in their trusty steed. Now, as you know on this channel, you've seen lots of people in vans, RVs, buses, etc., even a Jeep or two, but I, I mom, actually there was one car. You guys are the second car dwellers. So if... not many people do this. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, first off, why are you guys road tripping in a car for six months? Because we figured that we may as well just use what we have, so that's why we went for it. Yeah, we, we felt that it was easier for us to just take what we already had. We already had the vehicle. We bought it two years ago. It's under warranty through Toyota, and why sell it when we can use it? And traveling through the winter probably isn't the smartest thing, but... We also want to show people who enjoy travel that it is doable. You don't have to get an RV. You don't have to get a bus, even though that is so awesome. Yeah, it's super so cool. So we just want to show people that no matter what you have, you can still travel. You can still get out there and make it happen. Cool. So we're actually new to the bus life and the van life because I've never been in a converted bus or van. That was the first time we've been in a converted bus, and... It's, Get your it's, mind. Tempting. it's tempting. Get your mind thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you guys have about, what, 35 miles per gallon in this thing, and yeah. I have yes. like 10 or less? Yeah. Yeah, so you pay for it somehow. But we don't have the room or the bed or Right, so let's like let's talk about sleep, sleeping situations. Can we get a little tour of, of <laughs> the setup? A little setup? tour, literally. You don't yeah. have to move. <laughs> keys? Keys might be helpful. Okay, so while McKenna runs inside and gets some keys, um... How many days have you slept inside the car in the seats? Once. Once. One day so far. But this is only day 11. Today's day 11 of our six month road trip. Did you freeze your butt off? Actually, no. Because I feel like the car was like small enough and there's two bodies in there and we had each had two blankets. Uh -huh. And then we slept with our sweatshirts and sweatpants on. Right. So it actually wasn't super cold. And why I said the other day, I was like, oh yeah, as long as you get a sleeping bag, you're good. So. Tell us about the sleeping bag situation. <laughs> we don't have a sleeping bag either. So our goal with this road trip was a lot of people probably before they go on vacation, right, they plan a ton. So we planned a lot. But the one thing that we didn't plan was buying anything additional than what we had already had before the road trip and where we were going to sleep. Uh, this is so this is funny. So on a road trip, just, you know, sleep in our car if we can't do you have? Do you even have a camp stove yet? No. Awesome. You guys are like fresh, have, just jumped into it. We just, don't have like anything. Like we literally, like the blankets that we have are like the little throws that you put on the back of the couch. Like not even a legit blanket. And that's what we use like to stay warm. <laughs> this I will is... say before we take a look at the inside of the car, it's usually a lot more full because everything's packed in here. But Jax gave us a place to stay, which we are so grateful for. I, I've actually Jax gave us someone else's place. Correct, to stay. correct. I, I, Reed was out of town and I turned it into an Airbnb for uh, YouTubers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so a lot of our stuff is inside right now, but we'll give you guys a look at okay. what we got. <laughs> All right. So what we have here, guys, it is a regular car. So one of the important things I want to share with everybody, because everybody says, oh, Jax, you travel in a bus. So usually this whole area is filled. We have like another suitcase, two duffel bags, like another one of these. Yeah. yeah and yeah. we, everything is filled like all the way up. Yeah. So we can see through the back window, but if we were to add anything more, we wouldn't be able to see through right. the back window. And I just want everyone to know who's watching this, that yes, I do have a school bus, and I know that not everybody can do the whole school bus thing, build it, buy it, etc. But you guys can do exactly what uh, Got Love is doing, and you can travel for as l for a very long time, yes. and you can figure it out along the way, especially yeah. like where you sleep and things like that. We knew what cities we were going to. There you go. We still have a lot sleep. to figure out along the way, especially like car organization. We we have stuff packed in the trunk in here. Yep, so. the monsters, just in case. <laughs> we got the chains for the tires just in case that's right you well, bought them on the way also, here here's yeah. something too is like since we're youtubers we've been doing youtube for four years together and i've been doing youtube since 2007 so for us we have a ton of equipment that we bring with us so there's actually a ring light that we have inside right 
and that's what we use, but we have that packed in the trunk. We also have a live streaming, like this thing. It doesn't break down, but it's an actual camera. It has a microphone that sticks out. Live streaming Everything system. hooks straight up to your computer. So we have like a few things in here that you probably, actually like these two things are full of stuff that yeah. most people wouldn't take with them. Yeah. So I just want to reiterate, for everyone who watches me, doesn't have a van, doesn't have a bus, but has a car, you guys can totally do this and figure it out. Absolutely. And be a mess like us. There you go. And also, there was, if, uh, I told you guys the, uh, the other night, I met two guys over at a hot spring that traveled uh, together. Yeah. Each of them spent about $3,000 a piece. Yep. So this is completely affordable. And yep. if someone wants to, we're you know. We're a little bit better than they were. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, not a lot. But but if you guys want to, it, you guys can travel for an, a very long uh, period for not too much money using a very fuel efficient car. Yes. Well, even the other day we just bought bagels, some bagels, and when we get hungry, we're driving like we're driving for ten hours. We didn't even stop to eat until like the very end of the day. Yeah. So we just eat bagels on the way, and you, we paid like three dollars for them. And mm -hmm. I mean, you can be very cheap if you want to, and, and make sure because all you need is a full stomach. It doesn't have to right. be a gourmet My meal. Right. Too is you have to be willing to be uncomfortable for a little bit of time. Like you don't have to go out to a fancy restaurant every single time you want to eat, and uh, you might have to wait a little bit longer to go to the bathroom sometimes. So keep a bottle in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I got, I got some tips for that too. Um, yeah. One tip is you can get a small. 12 volt fridge that they have at truck stops mm -hmm. and, and it's just like a cooler size so you can just yeah. plug that baby in if you want to have like you know something cold or food yep. fruits yeah. by the way we also filmed something on their channel which <laughs> has lots of information so if you, you guys know i have a lot of travel apps so if you want a yes. whole list detailed we, plus, le we learned a ton yeah. <laughs> i was like downloading apps and like, All right, this is awesome yeah so so we, we have a video on their channel uh got love go check it out um, and also, let's ask them the number one question that people like to ask me. Where do you guys poop in this thing? Well, definitely not in here. <laughs> but we pretty much just stop at gas stations or rest areas, McDonald's, like a restaurant that's like open 24 hours, things like that. So that's why I'm like, sometimes you might have to be uncomfortable. Or Kyle used a bottle the other day. Yep, there's been some times pee. where it's like, I gotta go, but there's nowhere near us. Yep. So we haven't got to the point where we have to figure that one out. Like. Yeah. There's nowhere to go. Where am I going to go right but now? I recommend again. the Arrowhead Wide Mouth Bottle for yeah. those. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, Jax has some great information. That if you're on this channel, you've probably heard it before. But if not, uh, he answered it on our Q&A on our channel. So a lot of great information over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay. So why on earth are you guys going on a six month road trip in a car and no RV? Cause people are gonna be wondering like, how are you guys doing this? Like yeah. are you guys staying at Airbnbs? Are you guys trust fund babies? Like what's the scoop on this? Man, I wish, so, <laughs> I wish we had money. <laughs> we have actually, so we both love to travel and Kyle's been in the military. So we haven't had the ability to just go wherever we want when we want. So we've been planning the six month road trip for over a year. And then after we do our six month road trip, we wanna go overseas for a little bit. So that's why we don't wanna invest in an RV yet because we're just going for six months and then we're gonna be gone. And then we're gonna so. backpack overseas in Asia and Europe. Yeah. So we're gonna have even less than what we're taking with us right now. I, I might wanna be a third wheel on that trip actually. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be great. That'd be super sweet, I'd be down. Do <laughs> we should do like get a group of YouTubers to go. Yeah. Just like backpack for like as long as we can. Yeah, yeah I'm That'd so down. Yeah. Awesome. Another thing that is kind of crazy that we're trying to do is um, not pay for lodging for as long as possible. So Which is why you're here. Exactly. Yeah. I'm happy so, to share Reed's house with yeah. you. But, <laughs> Thank you. And it, it was so My pleasure. amazing. So if you know people, um, then you can like ask them. There's an app called Couch Surfing. And also one night we slept in our car. Mm -hmm. Because we couldn't find a place to stay. But so. my favorite story so far was the pizza place. Can you tell yeah. us about the pizza place? <laughs> so we were driving through very rural Utah, and we were about three hours away from Moab, and we were about an hour away from Bryce Canyon, which is where we had just left, and there was nothing around us. And so we got to a pizza place, and we were in a small town, so we just figured, well, they had an open sign. Let's go in and get some food because it was 8 at night. We were hungry. And then we just asked the lady working there if she knew anywhere we could sleep. And she was just like, okay, I'll text some of my coworkers. And no, call. Call some of the coworkers. <laughs> and then it turned out she didn't even know what YouTube was. Yeah, so that's So we told her. She had no idea. This is a town out in the middle of nowhere. And we just asked if there was a place we could stay. We had an air mattress. And so then 30 minutes later, we were eating. And she comes out and she's like, yeah, they said you can stay here. And... 
in the pizza shop and she pointed to the ground. She's like, yeah, just put your mattress right there. We're like, okay, okay <laughs> let's do it. Small so town we, hospitality. We stayed yep. in and then she said, lock the door when I leave tonight, and then lock the door when you leave in the morning. I love it. Yeah, that it was, was like a crazy experience. And then we also borrowed a tent from one of our servers mm -hmm. at a restaurant that we had dinner at at like 10 at night. But that was the night we slept in our car. Because he's like, I can give you a tent tonight. We're like, nah, we just sleep in the car. Then the next day, I was like, yo, we still made it tent because we haven't had somewhere to sleep yet. So we drove to his house at like 11 something at night, picked up a tent, and then drove out to BLM land and just <laughs> popped a tent right next yeah. to our car. And it was like 40 degrees, and again we had like miserable. these little, no sleeping bag. Yeah, these just these little yep, blankets, yep. and like they gave us a comforter though. Nice. So Thank he gave goodness. us a tent and a comforter, but we just had like one comforter, and then like our little throw blankets. And yeah, it was so cold. We woke up at like seven in the morning, hopped in the car, turned the heat on. I was freezing all night. But I woke up probably every hour. <laughs> another crazy thing is we were leaving that morning, and we saw another vehicle that had a YouTube magnet on the side of their car, but they had an RV. So we stopped, knocked on the door, ended up meeting them, became friends. They let us sleep in their RV that night. Then the next day, we saw that Jax was in Denver, just like coincidence. He like told someone like I'm stuck in Denver. I'm like, we're literally going there. So I hit Jax up and was like, hey, do you know a place that we can stay? He's like, yeah, you can stay here at my friend's house with me. And then we got so. hit in a blizzard crossing through the Rockies. So it's supposed to be a five hour drive and it was a 10 hour drive. Supposed to be here at 8 p.m. Got here so. at 1 a.m. So they've that already- was the latest Jax had ever stayed up in like forever. True. And, and you got you guys are on like day eleven day of this 11. of the and whole trip. Literally, and all that just happened in eleven days, and you're like, "That's crazy." So we're documenting on? the whole thing because we want to show everybody that um, you know you may watch YouTube and see all these cool things, but we also want to show you, know, you like the reality of it, like the struggles we that we that. go through, and like yes, we're traveling in our car, but it's not organized, and we're really just a mess. But we're just trying to show you that like anyone. can But do we've it. made some sweet memories so far. Yeah, we have zero regrets driving in a car the first eleven days. Maybe that. <laughs> change but so far it's been I have awesome. a feeling you guys are gonna have lots of stuff by the time that this thing is done and actually you might be having a different vehicle but that's just a, yeah. a conversation yeah to be continued <laughs> Dude, thank you guys so much for thank uh you. coming by Absolutely. yeah thanks, thanks for um, hosting us at Reed's house hey you know yeah. my pleasure you know his house is our house yeah yeah uh, Sukasa Mikasa yeah. exactly <laughs>